must save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here, back again, playing some more Breath of the Wild for you guys today as always. Hope you're all having a fantastic day, wherever you guys might be. So, we had quite the adventure last episode, if I say so myself. We, we kind of went all over the place. We started at the Great Plateau Tower, which was here. We kind of made our way uh, down to Lake Hylia Bridge, where we saw a dragon... And, of course, we got knocked off the bridge by a crazy sniper who hit us with a bomb arrow and sent us flying. Killed Wolf Link, unfortunately. And then we uh, climbed up the bank. We fought through the Barula Plain and the Finra Woods, killing a bunch of lizards. Died once, but we're not going to talk about that. And we made our way here to this beautiful little clearing. Look how perfect this setting is. There's just a little grassy area there's some horses walking around there's a pond which i have a, a guess that there might be something in that pond and we actually have some horses here as well it looks like there's two uh brown horses with dark hair and one with light hair this one seems to be the leader the, the other two seem to be following that one so i think that's the one i'm going for I'm just gonna sneak on up over here. Oh, he, okay. You know what? Maybe I should put on my sneaking armor. This might help. They definitely won't, won't find, see us now, right? Oh my, they don't just uh, hear me, they can see me. And he really doesn't want to be captured, I see. Look at that. Well, you know what they say, the harder they are to capture, the, the the more they're worth, you know what I mean? Let's go see if we can capture this guy. It's not even a pond, it's just like a little shallow lake. Wow, look at how the leaves move in the water, that is cool. Alright, we're just gonna very carefully... No, 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 no. All right, we're going to spook him to the wall. That way he, he has nowhere to run, right? Horsey. Don't you want to go on epic adventures with me? I'm not going to replace Epona, but I do like to have a few different horses. No, no, no. Come back. Come back. All right, we got him in a corner, guys. We got him in a corner. Wow, he went up the cliff. I don't see Epona going up cliffs like that. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, Ooh, this one's tough. I almost ran out of stamina. Let's see. Oh, come on, man. I even... I wasted that stamina. I ate it, and it still kicked me off. Wow. All right, this is going to be a good horse. I can already tell. Come on, baby. All right, let's try this again. We got him! He's not happy about it, but we got him. Good boy. Good boy. Alright, what I, what I want to do now is give our horse a welcoming gift. There you go, boy. I'm not sure if it's a boy or girl, but I'm just calling him boy. What should we name him? His color scheme kind of reminds me of like cookies and cream. Maybe I'll call him... Oh, you don't want any more? Alright. Alright, let's go put a... Uh, let's go put a, a saddle on you. Oh, he's a little rowdy. He's a little rowdy. Yeah, you're not very happy. Sorry I took your leader, guys. You're going to have to find a new leader. 
Man, he's a wild one. I always feel like I'm gonna get thrown off. Oh my goodness. We're being invaded! There's a bunch of raiders over there on horseback. Come on, boy. Oh, this stable is actually beautiful. We found the Highland Stables. Let's register our new steed. Oh, wow. Yeah, he has a wild temperament. Not as good as Zapona, but we'll still take him. 20 rupees, small price to pay. For a name, yeah, I think I'm just gonna name him uh, Cookie. What do you guys think? Oh. Yep, that's Cookie. He's a little firecracker, but we love him. Aww. Actually, Cookie, I'm gonna leave you here in the care of these wonderful people. And I'm going to buy some arrows from Beetle. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he wants my Rhino Beetle. Of course, dude. Take it. He gives me these mighty elixirs all the time. All right. Oh, look what I've got, Beetle. I've got some wonderful wares for you. Mm. Actually, I don't really have much to sell. I guess I'll sell some opals. How about four of these? We need a little bit of money. Mm, yeah, I think that's all I'm going to sell right now, Beetle, but l do you have any arrows? You do. Oh, nice. I'll take them all. Wow! Wow! Yeah, no problem, man. No problem. That's all I needed. Take it easy, Beetle. Man, this is a really nice stables. Look at all the, the trees, the shrubberies. Wow, they have an actual gardener. Hey, look at it, it's a doggy. Doggies will bring us treasure. Let's give him the apples that he wants. Give him the apples, bring me treasure. I also want to uh, go do that shrine over there in a, in a minute. Guess we're taking the pitchfork. Who's a good boy? Gotta take a sip of my tea while we watch the dog eat some apples. Oh, no, he's going, he's going. Those goats are cool. Ooh, good boy, I didn't see that. What do we got? Another hundred rupee or... Yep. Hey man, free money. Free money. Small price to pay. Four apples. Alright, there should be a clue about the horse armor. Maybe in this book. Mm. Ancient horse gear is real and it's fabulous. Apparently, there's some incredibly incredible horse gear from Hyrule's distant past. I'm talking long, long ago. A bridle that increases your horse skill and a saddle that can instantly summon your horse to your side. The bridle is south of Hyrule Ridge beneath a cherry blossom tree at a mountain where creatures gather. I think I know where that is. South of Hyrule Ridge. Remember that, guys. I'm going to take a picture of that. The saddle is at a mysterious spring where a horse spirit resides. I know where that is for sure. All right. Uh, should we sleep here for the night, guys? I say yes. Let's get the soft bed. Sleep until ah. morning. Oh, man. I'm still trying to get over my cold, guys. Good morning. I hope you enjoyed your stay. All right. We got an extra one heart. I guess I could do a little bit of cooking. I want to use these stamina shrooms for sure. Stamina uh, recipes are so important. Especially when you don't have any stamina. <coughs> Excuse me. Especially, no, no, don't eat. Especially when you don't have any stamina and you're just going for... Uh, I guess... Going for hearts like I am. 
I'm just going for hearts. I want to get the Master Sword as quickly as possible. Alright. Anything else I want to cook? The hearty truffles are always nice. That'll probably increase my hearts by four. Plus full... Oh, only two. Alright, wow. Um, I guess the defense one would probably be good. Let's do four of these. Yeah, that was a good one. Level three defense. Uh, yeah, we should probably just cook some of this meat. I don't want to actually... I just want to set it near the fire to cook them. You know what I mean? Sometimes all I want is a little bit of cooked meat. Yeah, just like that. In fact, I might cook I might cook a few more of these. We got a lot of meat. Let's Let's cook a little bit more of these. If I cook them in the pot, it'll make one thing, but if I set them next to the pot, they'll cook individually. That's why I want them. There we go. All right, now let's tackle that shrine, shall we? Where is it? Is it behind? I know I saw, I saw a uh, shrine around here. Oh, there we go. I guess I should just follow the sound of the shrine sensor, right? That would make sense. Every single horse stables has a, a shrine near it so that you can teleport, which is pretty useful. The Kau Makag Shrine, all right. Let's do it, boys. Might be a tough one. I don't know. We'll find out. I ain't worried about it. You know what I mean? Ice arrows. If you find yourself surrounded by an overwhelming number of enemies, try using ice arrows. Yeah, that's a good tip, actually. All right. Let's see what this uh, shrine has to offer us. Oh, this one... This one reminds me of the, uh, the, the, the magne Magnesis Shrine. Metal doors open the way. Alright, I see the chest up there. Um, I see some bombable bricks over here. Oh no, not you. Those guys are so annoying. Yep. I really need to use a shield when I'm fighting these guys. Oh, it's actually a weaker one. That was terrible. And repel! Oh, I'm so bad at that. This is good practice. It's good practice. I'd rather practice on a weak one like this than a strong one. Alright. I still got it. I still got it. It took me a little bit of practice. If you never practice at it, you're probably not going to get very good. Alright, so there was a chest here. With a terrible weapon. I'm going to take it and then drop it. Because if I don't, this shrine will show that I still have a chest to get. And then I think we can magnesis this, this entire thing. Yeah. I'm just going to set it up here for now because I think we're going to actually need it. I think I, think I could get up. Oh. That almost killed me. All right, this guy's a little bit harder. Actually, he's a lot harder. Oh, let's use the Guardian Sword on him, shall we? Fire him up a little bit. Oh. 
He has so much health. I can't believe how much health these guys have. He actually stabbed me, but it didn't count. Did I break his arm off? Nah, he's still going, man. I barely heard him. I'm barely hurting him. Die! Breaking all of my weapons just to kill this one guy. The farmer's pitchfork, I don't really care if I break, but look at his health! He just got so much! I am not dying to you, sir. I have learned my lesson. Do not underestimate these guys. They are extremely deadly. I didn't want to use my boomerang, but I might not have a choice. We got him. And we got the spear. Ooh. That is a nice looking weapon, if I say so myself. And an ancient core, which is actually super useful. Alright, now where were we? Ah, uh, yeah. Let's see. Actually, maybe I can go like that, and then, actually, wait, wait, wait. I knew it! I remember this shrine from when Subwar did it. There was a secret block right there. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was actually super worth it. I was kind of hoping it would be a new weapon because we went through a lot of weapons, but that's alright. Maybe I will use uh, some amiibos after we get out of here so I can get some weapons back, but I'm not too worried about it. Alright, let's, let's get this one up here now. Oh? Those don't blow up, but it did move them. <laughs> oh. I have to go back down and do this again. I hope the uh, chest is worth it. I have to set that over there again. Three chests in this shrine. Wow. Hey, Opal. Free, it's free money. Might as well, you know what I mean? Oh, look at that. That, that actually kind of works out. Alright, now we're done with this shrine. This was actually not too hard. If it would have been two of the, of the guardians with the weapons, that would have been tough. But just the one, not too bad. We did it. Hey, that was actually our fourth spirit orb. Awesome, we can get a new heart container now. I just have to remember to do that. Oh, if we have time in this episode, which I'm not sure. Wow, we are already at 20 minutes. These episodes go by so fast. I want to uh, head back to the Kaka Kakariko village so that we can go to the Great Fairy Fountain because I kind of forgot about that. Okay. A lot of dudes right there. But actually where I want to go is south and then to this uh, to this spring right here, basically. So... Let's get our horse. 
Let's get Cookie. Come on, Cookie. Let's get cooking. We need to go. That was lame, I know. Woo! Pick me up with style, too. Let's go on an adventure, Cookie. I did promise you adventure. Let's go. Now it's your time. We are leaving your birthplace and you are going on the most epic of adventures. And one day I will return you back to this area. He's a little bit nervous, but that's all right. No, turn, turn, turn. Come on, boy. Oh, he's a wild one. He doesn't like to steer very easily. We are going to visit the horse god. All right, Cookie, be on your best behavior. What do we have here? A disappearing platform. Too easy. A knight's bow. Pretty sure that's even better than a lizzle bow. Weapon. Give me a weapon. Oh my goodness. 62 attack demon carver. This lethal weapon is forged by the Yiga. Its unique shape facilitates the sound dispatching of any target and strikes fear into the hearts of all who see it. Wow. When I was asking for a weapon, I didn't think I would get this. 62 damage, guys. This is a straight up murder weapon. We're going to save that for special occasions. No doubt. Wow. See, guys, exploring pays off. Not only that, but we're about to get the the ancient horse armor. It's somewhere around here. I don't know exactly where, but I know it's somewhere around here. We'll find it. Oh, look, it is a great fairy fountain over here. How much money do you need? Boy. Sweet boy. Please, listen to my story. I am Malanya. Hast thou, I mean, have you ever felt the pain of losing a horse companion? If my power is returned to me, I may be able to help you out in some way. Please, I beg of you, help me repay gain the power. I need a thousand rupees? Ugh, sorry. I actually, uh, I don't, I don't have a thousand. Okay, well, we'll come back for that, but I'm pretty sure. Ooh, what is this? What is this, guys? You guys know? This is an EX chest. And what is in here? I wonder. The ancient saddle. A mysterious saddle made with forgotten ancient technology. Equip a horse with this and use down to call them wherever you may be. That's what I wanted. We'll come back and give this person a uh, thousand rupees at some point. But for now, I'm going to keep the rupees. Sorry. I'm surprised there's actually no fairies here. Fairies? No? Nothing? Alright. Yeah. He's eating the grass. Awesome. I'm actually not going to equip Cookie with the ancient... Sa actually, hold on. Hold on. What's in the... Anything in the water down? No? No? Okay. Just making sure. I'm probably going to give the ancient saddle to Epona. Just because she is the, the queen of all horses. And um, Cookie... 
we'll, uh, we can give Cookie some other armor. I know that you can give different armor to different horses, so no big deal. That's a strange little hole right there. I have a feeling there might be like a rock. Okay, good. I thought I thought you could handle it. I guess I was wrong. I think they're Ah yes. Yes. Come on, baby. Are you kidding me? Not even one? Go back up and then come back down. There we go. I knew it. I knew it'd be a Korok seed. <laughs> Awesome. Alright, so the other place that we needed to go was south of Hyrule Ridge, beneath the cherry blossom tree. So, south of Hyrule Ridge. Oops. No, not, not what I'm trying to do. Hyrule Ridge is... I have no idea. All right, so we're gonna have to look for Hyrule Ridge and, um, dang, that's too bad. I will right, find it, we'll find it eventually. Dang. All right, so what I wanna do now is I'm going to warp back to the stables, where is it? Let's go back to the Dueling Peak Stables. So I can equip this ancient armor on Epona. We'll come back for you, Cookie. Don't worry, you could just probably walk home from here. I'm sure Cookie uh, is smart enough horse to know how to get back home, you know what I mean? Woo! Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, please go ahead and drop a like. It really helps me out. I love making Zelda videos. It's very low stress. Oh, look at that. There's ore up there. Why is it always raining? Every single video I make, it has to be raining. Which means it's going to be very difficult to climb up here. Yep. Yep. Oh. Okay. Okay. Epona, guess what I got for you? Something really nice. Maybe I can actually buy some more arrows too. Hi. Let's take out Epona. Mm -hmm. And that means uh, Cookie will go into care. Good luck finding Cookie. Ah. Oh. Hey. All right, so now I actually don't remember how you equip the saddle to Epona. Maybe if I just... I'm pretty sure only certain stables you can do it. And I don't remember which stables you can. Maybe these guys? Yes, it is awesome. Bro, his head is just filled with horse stuff, right? That's right, just look at his eyes. Right now in his head, it's all horses, 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 food, and horses, right? <laughs> Useless! 
I want to equip the saddle. I don't want to talk about horses. Alright, let's see if I can buy some more arrows real quick. Wow! If you guys know which stables I can go to to equip that saddle, let me know in the comments. That would be really helpful. Alright, fine. Take the bladed beetle, man. You're just taking all of my beetles. You better have some arrows. Alright, he does. Wow! Buy all the arrows. Oh, actually, he's got two of those. I got 87 arrows. No, that's it. All right, guys. Wow, we are already at time. What an amazing episode. That was really fun. Wow, we got the best weapon that I could possibly think of. Look at this. These guys, look at that guy looking at me. He is nervous, man. He is very nervous. I walk in here, I pull this thing out. I look like a Yiga clan, like a, a rogue Sheikah war. Like... Any, any Yiga clan people want to mess with me? I'm like the ultimate Sheik warrior now. Oh my goodness. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please go ahead and drop a like. And as always, this is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next episode. Take it easy, guys.